So in this episode, I want to build this our sugarcane farm. Uh, finally, uh, we have our elephant uh, upgrade into the epic rarity in two days, and the derby is coming after goal in like seven days. So now is the perfect time for us to build a farm. Uh, for that, I will need to uh, uh, take part in the Jacobs contests. Uh, I actually have already taken part in two but haven't gotten any medals so for that we need to uh, we need medals to buy stuff from Anita that we will need so we can build our farms so for example we will need this infinite dirt wand for which I, I can actually buy already and uh, prisma pumps so that's one bronze medal and then I will need basket for seeds uh, with two silver medals which is like eight bronze medals and i believe i own i can only get uh, bronze medals uh, from one single crop which is wheat and those are not that <laughs> those are not that common and we really have to take part in every single one of these wheat contests if we really want to make it the contests are all about efficiency and your farming fortune so uh, if you start crafting meat events, that will slow you down so much. Uh, so I planned on getting the large acronym stack, uh, so that we won't need to craft anything during the event, and we'll uh, probably easily get the bronze medal. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll be like one stack and 48 inserted hay bales, which are the one of the worst uh, crop. Wheat is one of the worst crops to even combat because you get seeds and wheat and all that. So yeah, wish me luck. So we participated in one farming contest now, uh, and we got the bronze medal. That's ten jacob stickers and a turbo wheat book, which will give us a lot more, uh, a little bit more, not a lot more, but a little bit more uh, farming fortune for wheat which I'm gonna put to my rookie hole but yeah with that we can buy the prisma pump from Anita there we go let's go we have the uh, warp scroll uh, crafted and now we just can use it all the time to get to the dwarf mines and it's super easy no more going to deep caverns thank god Okay, so it's 5 in the morning and I'm doing this mining fiesta. that I woke up and I was super tired, but let's do it so we can get the mineral talisman and the mineral armor. We're gonna need uh, 35 or 33 uh, mineral, whatever it is, refined mineral to craft that all. And if we get all that before the mining festival ends, we can go to the Crystal Hollows and mine some ruby. And that's our first find mineral. Uh, so we just need to mine ores, and they have a low chance to drop, so yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> let's just do it. This I can't speak, I can't speak that loud because all, all other people are sleeping in my house, but yeah. Let's go. There we go. 34, 34 refined mineral. Now we can craft first of all the hardened diamond set and then we can upgrade it to the mineral armor. This will help us so much when grinding uh, gold in the mines of Divan. And then lastly, the talisman with 9 refined mineral, that's 3 more mining fortune and a rare accessory. Great. But now there is still 1 hour of the festival left, so I'm gonna go to the crystal hollows and mine some ruby, so we can still get those uh, double drops or is 1.5 times, but anyway. A bit more drops, so that's gonna be useful. 
And what is actually helpful is that I find an armadillo and it already had to come on before I... I didn't even notice that I got one. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna use that to mine some ruby really fast. And ooh, this might be enough already. Yeah, this will work for us really good. A lot of ruby around here and a little bit more up above there. <laughs> there we go. Actually, commission must on tier 2 already. So we get Emissary Wilson and Lilith at the lowest rings and Royal Mines and 200,000 mining experience. That's gonna level our armadillo way up to level 65. Wow. The wheat grind is finally over. I got three and a half stacks of enchanted hay bale in like four hours in the hop. Was absolutely painful. But at least now we can craft all the acronym stacks that we will ever need. So let's just put all, all of this in. That is enough for the base sacks. There's a uh, large acronym sack. There we go. And then we still need the uh, enchanted. Large enchanted acronym sack to hold the enchanted variations of the crops. So there we go. That's already five sacks for us. We soon we soon we will need the uh, sack for sacks from the clownfish collection. So maybe we need to get the minion. But now we also have twelve thousand bits for the builder wand. So at bit shop, twelve thousand bits for the builder's wand. This will allow us to finally build our farm to our private island, which I'm gonna do right now. Uh, actually, I also, uh, before that, I competed in a couple of wheat contests, and now we have four medals, I believe. Four bronze medals, which we can trade to silver and buy another item that will. Uh, plant the sugarcane for us, the basket of seeds. Uh, before you couldn't uh, plant sugarcane with basket of seeds, but now you can, I believe. So yeah, I know that a, the garden was an option, but I took some. I looked at it and I figured out that one le one plot is not enough in the garden for an infant farm in. Melons, uh, cocoa beans, pumpkins, and sugarcane. So I built a sugarcane farm and pumpkin farm, so that we can start farming infinitely, which is gonna be so uh, important for us. So with pumpkins, we can get the ranchers boots, which will allow us to control our speed, and they will give us in the garden some magic fun. And not magic fortune, but farming fortune, I believe. And for gain, it just the, uh, it just makes money for us, and we don't need replenish for that. So yeah, that's the reason why I chose that crop. Uh, it's five coins per one sugarcane, so it makes a lot of coins, like 225 coins per inch of sugarcane, which is just crazy. So yeah. But today we, take, we took part into the mining festival and built these farms all in one episode. It's been a big progression during these days. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.